Chinese legal education has seen significant changes in the past three decades. In 1977, there were only three law schools in China, and altogether they only enrolled 223 law students. At present, however, over 620 law schools in China offer law degree programs with some half a million law students. 30 years ago, there were only some 200 lawyers in the entire China. But today, the number has reached over 200,000 lawyers, increased by 1,000 times in the past 30 years. Obviously, the current problem is not the shortage of legal professionals. On the contrary, we have much more lawyers than before, but the conversation is somehow unreasonable. Of course, there are many questions need to be addressed. I just want to mention two of them. First, the shortage of international lawyers. China is now the second largest economy in the world, just next to the US, the biggest exporter and the second importer widely seen China will soon exceed Germany to be the biggest importer as well. Given such huge and intensive international trade and exchange, China has most international trade disputes than any other countries, especially with the US. A lawyer friend last year asked me if we have people who know Mongolian law because his client is doing business in Mongolia. Fortunately, we have two law students who are Mongolian lawyers. A few days ago, one of my graduates, who is a lawyer in Shenzhen, called me and asked if we have professors who know African law. People in China, especially the business opportunity, the society want to know Canadian law, uh, French law, uh, Russian law, Brazil law, Indian law. However, we do not have sufficient internationally oriented lawyers who specialize in international practice. According to the statistics by the Chinese Law Society, there are only several hundred lawyers in China who can do international transactions. In order to address this challenge, in the past several years, we increased the number of international students at Tsinghua Law School. It is the easiest way to solve this problem. For example, some 20% of our law students are from about 30 countries around the world. In 2005, we took the lead in China to offer an English language LLM program in Chinese law. It has been very successful so far. We also offer an English language SGAD program since 2010. On the other hand, for Chinese students, we offer more transnational law courses taught in English language. Especially, we offer a unique foundations of common law course since 2002. It is a complete common law program in a Chinese law school. How to train bilingual or trilingual cross-jurisdiction lawyers? I very much hope to learn from you. Another big issue is how to strengthen ethical and social responsibility education to law students. In the past, we too much talk about the professional nature of legal education. Today, legal education becomes technical education. Very, folks, very much focus on uh, technical aspects of law. It seems legal education lose its own value and principle, no independence. We always say 
Law schools should meet the needs of the society. We forget, unfortunately, that the fundamental function, nature of legal education and legal profession is to regulate human and social activities, not to please human beings and meet the greedy and the unreasonable or even sometimes dangerous needs. In ancient China, people who wanted to study Kung Fu, you must learn Kung Fu ethics first. You must learn your social responsibility first. I think legal educators today should pay more attention to social responsibilities to teach our students their responsibilities responsibilities to the society, to the other people, to the entire human being, to the social progress. With so much international practice today, I hope major law schools in the world may take the lead to develop a set of professional ethics rules and social responsibility, social responsibility for global practice. I'm going to stop here and uh, look forward to your comments and questions. I also want to take the opportunity to invite my fellow deans, all of you, to visit the Tsinghua Law School in the near future. Thank you very much.